Quick video, making a beat real quick in GarageBand. All right, let's just erase this, I'll redo it. All right, I picked the kit, I'm gonna just use the 808 Flex, really simple, 140 BPM. I put the looper marker, cause I'm only gonna do four, I don't wanna have it carry out, but you can turn it off during recording in case it tries to loop back on you, you start making mistakes. All right, got a little kit. I'm only gonna do, and I'm using the off grid just so you know. I'm only going to do, I like, this is the way I do it. I like to do my uh, kick and snare first. So let's do that. I got the metronome set on. I already set the tempo. Should give me a count in. Two, three. All right. I made a mistake at the end. No big deal. I'm going to set the cursor on that spot. And I, I know in Garage or in Logic, because I use Logic more than I use this, Command T, if you hold Command T down, it will literally chop on where that marker is and then hit delete. So it, apparently it works in here too. All right, so there may be an off note here or there. The one thing I don't want off is my snares, obviously. Out the gate, that needs to be on. So I'll highlight these. I know these are the snares. The bottom is the kick. And then I'm just going to hit this Q, which is quantize, and it's going to do it to a 16th. Now, you still see this note is way off. So if you have a note that's that far off, you're just going to have to move it back. Same here. Both of these notes are way off. Highlight them. Bring them back. They should be hitting, and this type of trap, this is kind of like that trap vibe type thing. I'm doing because I'm doing 140. Normally, your snares would hit on this 2 and 4, but you're only going to hit the snare on the on the um, three for this one. So it's a little bit different. That's the reason why you see all these, you know, these notes down here. All right, hats, I'm just gonna. Now for me personally, I like my stuff on separate tracks, which eventually I could move the snare down. So what I could do, see, I'm used to having something where it just duplicates it. So what I'm gonna do is let's see how this works. This is why why I use Logic, because it's just a little bit better when it comes to stuff like this. And it may be a way to do it in here, and I'll be honest, I don't know. Command C, and then if I go down here, go back. Okay, yeah, there we go. Command C, Command V, Command C to copy, Command V to paste, right? That's standards. Then what I would do is just on one of these, go ahead and take the kicks off on this one, right? And then up here, I take the snares off. All I did was copy the same track that I made it on. Now you could probably keep doing it on the same one and just copy from there. It's up to you. Um, I wish I knew, and there may be a way how to duplicate the track, but whatever. For right now, we'll just do this. 808 Flex. All right, cool. So now I have kicks on one, snare on one. I'm gonna put the hi-hats. I'm just gonna do a simple, right? This, I don't have a note repeat in here that I know of. So if I'm on the MPC, it's easy because I'm just, if I wanted to, I would hold the note repeat down. I usually play them though anyway, just because I like some more realism with it. I don't really like, you know, those, unless I'm doing something really fast and I need it. But anyway, we're not gonna get into that conversation. It will take forever. All right. Hit set your uh, marker back at the beginning. Make sure your metronome is still on. Hit record, and then start your hi hats. I messed up. It's okay. I knew I messed up on like around the, especially on the first portion of this, right about here. They're like way off. I'm just gonna drag those back. Now I feel like I'm a little bit closer. I don't mind being a little off because I kind of like it like that. But so what I've been doing as of recently is I'll quantize it to a 16th, right? But I don't want to leave it that way and get rid of that. And again, here we go again. Set the cursor, Command T, delete that end. Okay, piano roll. So now we're on the piano roll. So I don't want this to be this perfect. It looks very perfect, actually. So I see how I touched that little piano note right there? It highlights all of them. 
And instead of putting the quantize at a 16th, how am I going to fix that on here? It's a little bit different. Let me, okay, zoom in. There we go. I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm to get the swing that I want, I'm just going to nudge it back manually just a little bit. You see that little bit of gap right there? Now it'll have some swing. Yeah. All right, put the loop on. Sounds really perfect though. So maybe I would go in and take what note is this? This should be the, there we go. Take this one, click just like I did on that. And then just, you might nudge it just a little bit ahead, like just a little bit in front of the, the third line there. So now I'll see what it sounds like. like it all right so I would undo and then I'm gonna nudge it just a little bit back just a little bit now I'll try it that's a little bit better something sounds off in the kicks so I'll pay them a visit you'll get used to like this is, I mean, you're gonna make mistakes and that's okay. And like I said, some mistakes are good, so it's okay. Let's just try it. See, I don't like the way that hits. Of course, I would get a call while I'm filming this. Um, I'm gonna move that that way. And maybe move this one this way. Let me see how that sounds. That's better. There you go. Um, see here, so we got one there. Leave that there because the snare is kick's gonna hit here. All right, and then these I might pull. I might pull them back like that and see how that sounds. Yeah. See, see, I can tell like these right here are all off a little bit. That's fine. This one, let me just pull it over. So this is sort of like drawn in. I'm not a fan of this. I prefer to play it, but it's some software is easier to adjust the notes. This isn't too bad, actually. For a free software, well, it's not nothing free on Apple, but you know, it comes with your purchase of whatever Apple you have. There you go. Okay, not too bad. I can't deny it. This is just an opinion, but GarageBand on on that Mac OS is just better. It's it is closer to what Logic is like. Of course, Logic has way more features, but it's got very similar layout, similar type vibes of that. So, if you got GarageBand on a computer like this or a Mac or whatever. Good to go. All right, I'm gonna try to end this by the 10 marker. We're at 845. All right, so there's your simple beat made. I didn't add any melodies or anything over the top. Of course, you need to do all that. If you wanted to, you can remove the editor right here so that it's not in your way. Of course, you can drag in and do a piano track if you wanted to. I did that on the other video, kind of showed you some stuff you could do. Um, Let me see here, wide suitcase. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. All right, piano. Add a track, let's just add a track real quick. Move that down. Switch. I don't like this at all, but let's see. There we go, that's a little better. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna just try to see if we can put some basic chords over this, just show you something to it.
<laughs> Terrible. I would not normally play MIDI on the these like not not at least with this, but whatever. I'm just doing it anyway. You see, these notes are extremely off. Just your notes. Like I said, don't play this perfect because it'll start sounding very bland and Oh, this is awful. But anyway, you get the point. I'm gonna delete this. You get the point. There's your drumming. Depending on what style of music you're gonna drum. Trap music, I'm not really big in the trap. I use ele maybe elements of it, of stuff used in trap music, but it's not really my thing that I'm, but yeah, like 140 and putting those notes in the, uh, making sure your snares, Hit on the uh, third note or the third uh, count. So there you go. That's it.